It's really true what they say. It feels like yesterday we were watching Kevin Durant's performance on Rucker Park when he went ham thinking that there's not going to be an NBA season. But we got our NBA season and we had a good one. LeBron James final MVP finally gets his ring against the OKC Thunder. We've been through many buzzer beaters this season. Crazy performances by players like Kobe Bryant. We had a great All-Star weekend. We've also dealt with many injuries including Derrick Rose, Baron Davis, and many more. But altogether, it was a great season. But now the NBA season is over and I ask, what happens now? Well compared to last year, after the season was over, all we were thinking about is there even going to be a season next year? But this year, we know that there's going to be a season coming up this fall, and we can wait. And unlike last year, last summer, all we had to watch was a little bit of hoop mixtape and some of Kevin Durant's amazing performances, but that's all we got. This year, not only do we have the draft, we have the Olympics. Now, the Olympics this year is going to be amazing, and I want to be covering it on a special video. Not in this video, but the Olympics are coming up this year, as well as all the training camps. We got a lot of NBA coverage this summer. It's going to be a great summer, can't wait to cover the Olympics, training camps, all that good stuff. It's going to be a great fall. We're going to have NBA 2K13 and NBA Live 13. I can't stop talking about these games. I'm looking forward to them both. Midnight release for sure, so stay tuned. I'm going to be up all night uploading content. But just reminiscing about this NBA season, honestly, it was a blast. Now, this NBA season meant a lot more to people than it did in previous years. Why? Because we were all concentrated about the NBA lockout. We were so sure that there was going to be no NBA this season that when we found out, we were anticipating it more than ever. And just to clarify, this is an NBA 2K12 ranked online match. I'm running with the New Jersey Nets with my man Darren Williams against a very tough very tough, may I say, Golden State Warrior team. Speaking about Darren Williams, I just read an article online saying that he limited his two teams to the Dallas Mavericks, his hometown of course, and his current team, the Brooklyn Nets. Now I honestly believe he's going to join Dallas Mavericks' own Dirk Nowitzki, Mark Cuban, Jason Terry and the gang, replacing Jason Kidd as their starting point guard, and they're going to have a great season. Honestly, when it's all said and done, we had a great season. We saw things we did not expect this year. Prime example, Jeremy Lin. Now, who would have thought that this guy was the reason that the New York Knicks went to the playoffs? Yes, it's all because of Lin. They went to the playoffs. He sparked the atmosphere for Madison Garden. He sparked Carmelo Anthony and Amari Stoudemire to realize that they can make it to the playoffs. Now, of course, he wasn't the best player on their team, but that has no reason why they did not make the playoffs. It's because of this guy sparking the world, not just Madison Garden in New York. Literally, this guy had an impact on the world, the entire Asian community. This guy did what Yao Ming did, but more. In 10 years, he's going to have his own documentary. So major respect to Jeremy Lin for putting on a great clinic in his time in the NBA until he got injured. Now, I hope he gets recovered very fast. Honestly, he was willing to come back into the NBA playoffs if they managed to beat the Heat. But the Heat beat them, but it's all good. More respect to him and more rest for him as well. But how about my man, the Black Mamba, or should I say, the Masked Mamba? What a season this guy had compared to last year's season, putting up numerous 40-point games forcing overtimes this guy Kobe Bryant had a great season much respect to him I have no idea how the Lakers are gonna do next year Andrew Bynum might leave you know he's having tempers and issues with the coaches and all that I'm not sure what's gonna happen with Mike Brown personally I like Mike Brown but honestly I would prefer another coach any day than Mike Brown it's gonna be a great turnout advance we're gonna see what's gonna happen with free agents can't wait till free agency this summer it's gonna be amazing to find out what's gonna go happen with all these great players you know how I do. If I make a video about reminiscing about the NBA, I gotta talk about my boy Derrick Rose. What a season this guy had this year. Got his first buzzer beater, former MVP, got his first buzzer beater this year against the Bucks. crossed over Brandon Jennings with that beautiful fadeaway. Got that game winner. What a big mark in his timeline. But we all know what happened in game one in the playoffs. Eastern Conference Bulls versus Philadelphia 76ers. 
Derrick Rose torn his ACL and honestly this was the saddest moment in sports that I've ever witnessed personally it was up there with Darren Davis but just because I'm from Chicago this one hurt more seeing Derrick Rose after an MVP season after leading his team to the playoffs this year with a legitimate chance of going to the NBA Finals it was all done in a matter of seconds and honestly as optimistic as the press were saying that this injury is nothing we knew it was bad coming from Chicago a lot of people were saying in Chicago that the Bulls have still have a chance in going to the finals but come on seriously with no Derrick Rose you're not gonna go past the Celtics they didn't even make it past the 76ers D Rose is a fighter much respect to him much respect to Derrick Rose as for the Chicago Bulls in free agency they're actually looking to trade Luol Deng the former all-star Luol Deng is looking to be traded for a very high draft pick and or in my opinion I would love this Tyreek Evans to the Chicago Bulls Luol Deng did so much stuff for us but honestly getting Tyreek Evans in the backcourt till Derrick Rose is gone would be very very successful for the Chicago Bulls I mean I could talk about this all day just reminiscing about the NBA but I'm just you know listing my favorite moments that happened this year I mean when Kevin Durant got his buzzer beater against the Dallas Mavericks that was a sight to see this guy you knew that this guy's gonna be a clutch player in the NBA and he proved it in the playoffs against the Lakers when he got that buzzer beater against the Dallas Mavericks that was vintage right there uh, oh let's not even start talking about the dunks we're gonna be talking about the dunks now how about the dunks this year starting off with one of the best dunks I've ever seen oh my god God, Blake Griffin just destroyed Perkins on that one. Come on, we all know what dunk that is. What a dunk. What a way to start off the season. And then Gerald Green with the windmill alley-oop. Holy crap. This guy was in the D-League. Gets that dunk. Gets an instant seven-day contract. Does something crazy again. Gets a season contract. Much respect to Gerald Green and LeBron James dunking over John Lucas. Now I'm from Chicago. That was a hard sight to see. But when you jump over a player in alley oop, I give my respect to you, LeBron James, on that one. So as the NBA season finally makes its end, so does this video. But before it does. We gotta start talking about this game. It's a three point game, down by three. I need to shoot it with someone clutch. Darren Williams for three, what a beast. Much respect to the guy I was versing. It's a two point game, Golden State up by two. I get an easy fast break to tie this one up. Gerald Green with such a crucial layup. It's a tie game. With about 14 seconds left to go, I foul this guy. I was scared that he was gonna go to the line. Thank God I had a foul to give. But there's no Monte Ellis right now. No Monte Ellis. You know who he's going to be shooting with. He's going to be shooting with the one and only Stephen Curry. Much respect to this guy. Three seconds left. Great D. Great D. Great. What the heck just happened there? That is something 2K needs to fix. Now this guy took a great shot. But I was playing better D. And as soon as he shoots the ball, my guy just gets shifted away, which is pretty dumb. I was watching an interview on NBA 2K13 and the producer himself said that NBA 2K12 they focus more on evolving the offensive player. Exactly what they did right there. But in 2K13 thankfully they're going to be evolving the defensive player as well. So that's some good news but I will touch up that more on another video. But thanks for watching this video guys. I know you guys enjoy the longer videos. Definitely more of those since the NBA is now over. I appreciate you guys for watching this video. So if you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. It takes 5 seconds and it helps me out so much. Please comment, rate, and subscribe if you enjoyed this video as well. STG, sub the gamer. Have a good one. Peace. But in the comments down below, let me know what was your favorite part about the NBA.